In this video, we will be seeing about the entity annotation in Spring Boot. So, the entity annotation is mainly used in the Spring Boot if you want to create a table. So, let's take an example. So, if you want to create a table like this called student table with columns, roll number, name, subject and marks. We can do this by using the entity annotation. So, this is the main use of the entity annotation. So let us see in the program how we can implement this okay so here I have a sample project called entity demo so this is the main application so I will create a new class so our name of the table is student right so I will create a class name student as it is so here the class student is created so First of all, we will just here you can see in this table we have four columns, right? So we will create each column in Java. So for that, we will declare a variable private int. The first row is first column is roll number. So another the second one is private string name. The other one is private uh what's that subject and mark so string subject and private int mark so these are the four columns so we can understand this these four represents a column but how do java understand this we can so we can annotate this class so you know right every table has a primary key so we have to declare a primary key in order to create a table so here roll number will be a primary key so we will declare that by using uh, spring boot we have an annotation called id so if you roll number column here you can see right import id so this will become a primary key of the table so that's all guys we have created a table okay so now let's check so i will save this program i will just run it and check whether the table is created so also in order to like visualize the table we need a database right so I, here i'm using h2 database which is an inbuilt database in the jpa so don't worry about that if you want to use external database we have to just go to so resources and in application.properties file you have to specify what database we are using i'll put this in another video i'll explain this how to connect to database so let's focus on the entity so i'll save this and if I, let's try to run this application So the application is started. Let's see the database. So this is the database which I'm telling speaking to you. So here uh, you can see there is no database present here. So there is no table created. Why? So in the student.java we missed the entity annotation. So we have to give the entity annotation on top of the class so we so can hover it and you can see entity so this entity annotation tells the java that this class is a table understand so if i save this and if i relaunch the application You can see the application so it started so here you can see hello that's because i printed hello here okay so let's go to the database and just refresh it and connect okay never so here you can see right the student table has been created with these rows columns right 
you see you can execute queries here here you can see the say right as we expected student table with roll number name subject and mark the same as it is student roll number mark name subject so if i try to run a query on the table you can see there is no values currently since we we are not in we didn't insert any values okay right so this is how you create a table in spring with the entity annotation so the entity annotation is mainly used for creating tables in spring boot understood so that's all for this video guys if you have any doubts please let me know in the comments thank you bye